All right, you guys, today we are doing a small plant haul. I have five plants to show you guys as if I needed more plants. <laughs> um, after acquiring these five, I'm officially over the 100 plant mark, which is <laughs> pretty cool to be honest. I was a little embarrassed in my plant tour to realize I had 98, um, but I'm just embracing it now. <laughs> it's who I am. Uh, hopefully you guys can see me and hear me okay. I have a new microphone and a new macro lens because I am just pretty soft-spoken. So I got a microphone and then uh, I've just been having focusing issues for a while on my camera. So I got a new lens. So we're gonna try out some new stuff today with the camera. I hope everyone had good holidays and a good New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. I'm excited to see what this channel will bring in 2023. Let me know what you would like to see from this channel in 2023. I'm going to be doing a community post as well. Um, so you guys can comment on there or comment under this video, under any video. Um, let me know what kind of content you want to see. I'm still fairly new to this, so uh, let me know if you like plant chores or hauls or more like how-to instructional videos, stuff like that. So just let me know. Um, but without further ado, let's just get into what plants I've got recently. So I have three from a nursery and then two from um, Facebook. Someone I bought plants from on Facebook, which was my first time buying plants through someone locally. I mean, I'll just start with um, the ones from the nursery. Okay. Um, so... The first one I got is a little lithops. This is what it looks like. It's really cute. I, I've definitely had one of these before. Um, it was a few years ago and it bloomed for me and then it died um, from my neglect. So, but I bought my first one for like 30 bucks or something like that. And then I was waiting for the price to come down again. And this one was $5, which is a lot better than what the prices used to be, um, at least in my area. And yeah, I'm just really excited to have this little guy. Look how cute he is, and the little, the little texture on him. I love lithops, I think they're so interesting and like, they bloom really pretty too. So I'm really excited to have that guy. Um, if you have any tips, because I really don't want to kill it again. <laughs> um, all of these are plants I haven't ever had before besides the lithops. And obviously I wasn't good at taking care of the lithops. So um, any advice would be awesome as well. Next, I have this Ripsalis Paradoxa. That's what it looks like. I am really excited to have this plant. Um, this one was a wishlist plant after I saw Fern on YouTube here. Um, I saw hers and I knew I had to have one. They're just so interesting looking and um, I really love any plant that kind of looks like coral um, and a lot of Ripsalis really fit into that. I really like my other Ripsalis. It's growing like a beast too. So I figured it'd be time to try another one what it looks like it has like multiple shoots coming off and yeah just really cute and this one was five dollars as well so i figured a wishlist plant for five bucks you can't beat it this is my philodendron fuzzy petiole and it's absolutely stunning i'm very excited to have this um i am loving fuzzy petioles right now i love my uh philodendron squammy a lot and so when I saw this one, I got really excited. Um, mostly because at the nursery, I have like a reward, re reward <laughs> program like set up or whatever. So um, I got $25 off this plant. It was originally $33 and I got it um, for like under 10 bucks then. And then these two, like my whole order was like 18 bucks for these three plants, which was so cool to cross off three wishlist plants for 18 bucks um but i just 
As much as I love fuzzy petioles, I really am drawn to the leaves on this one. Like they are just stunning. Look at that. That's just so beautiful, like almost velvety, kind of like a sheen. Um, just a really stunning color. It, let's see, do you have any new leaves coming in? We have one new growth point, which I think will eventually be a leaf. Yeah, right here. There you go. I think that will turn into a new leaf. Oh, there's two new leaves. I should try to show you the other one. There's the other one. So two new leaves, very exciting, very beautiful. I hope it sizes up the leaves um, in my care. The first one that I got from the guy that I bought these from is a Alocasia Quilted Dream. I think that's what they're called. I know it's dark, I'm sorry, but. Where'd my light go? <laughs> there, okay, so you can kind of see. This is Alocasia Quilted Dream, and I've always wanted this one. My mom is a quilter, and so, um, just reminds me of my mom. I think this leaf <laughs> is on its way out, to be honest, but I'm not worried about it at all. Um, this one's going in my cabinet, and my Alocasias are really loving the cabinet, so I'm not worried about um, this one dying at all you need to be watered um but yeah i'm just really excited to have this one it definitely reminds me of my dragon scale um but definitely i can like see the difference and i can definitely see like why it has its name uh, it definitely looks like it's quilted which is very cool that's what the leaves look like yeah so uh, very excited to have this one as well, even though it's a little bit wonky, <laughs> but I really think it'll like it here. And yeah, this one's named after you, mom, if you're watching this. The last one, and please let me know if you have tips for this one. I got it because it was too good of a deal, I guess, to like pass up, but I don't know anything about growing this plant, so um, we'll see. And that is <laughs> Philodendron Gigas. It looks really sad <laughs> right now in this shot very curled up um i have not checked the roots on this yet so why not do it on camera <laughs> okay this is what we're working with very minimal roots um i don't love the substrate that it came in it seems very fine honestly i might throw this in water i don't know how well philodendron gigas um roots in water but i feel like it would root better outside of soil uh so might be trying something a little bit different we'll be doing my research but I'm really excited if this one does take off. I only spent eight. Oh, I didn't even tell the prices of the other ones. Um, the Quilted Dream was $12. And then the Gigas, this cutting was $8. So it wasn't like enough money to where I'll be upset if it dies, but it's a good way for me to test out growing it without breaking the bank. <laughs> and minimal room for my cabinet that's where it is right now i think it'll like it in there um yeah i think it just needs some love and i am willing to try to give it some so there is my philodendron gigas so that's gonna be it for this video just got a few plants and I'm gonna try to squeeze them in somewhere and I think I'm gonna be um, like trading out some of my plants. Um, I really just wanna have plants in my collection that I'm like absolutely in love with, not just like space fillers, so. But again, just let me know what kind of content you guys want to see this year and I'll see you in the next one, bye.